why wolverines are the most adaptable carnivores. You've heard of lions and tigers, apex predators that roar their way into legends. You've seen documentaries praising the cunning of wolves or the brute power of bears. But let me ask you something strange. Have you ever heard of an animal that doesn't need a pack, doesn't need size, doesn't need recognition, but still manages to survive where few others can? This animal doesn't announce itself. It doesn't rule with grandeur. It disappears into snowstorms, scours the mountains alone, and chews through bone with a cold calm that sends shivers down the spine. It's not the biggest predator, or the fastest, or even the most famous but it might just be the toughest creature walking this planet. This is the story of the wolverine, a creature so elusive that even seasoned wildlife biologists struggle to track it. And yet, it leaves behind signs. Bones cracked in half, claw marks on frozen bark, deep tracks where nothing else dares to walk. So today, we're pulling back the curtain on the Phantom of the Frost. Let me show you why the wolverine might just be the most adaptable carnivore nature ever created. Anatomy of a Survivor A wolverine isn't built like a cat, nor like a dog. It's more like a bear compressed into the size of a medium dog, but packed with twice the grit. It weighs about 20 to 40 pounds, but don't let the numbers fool you. What it lacks in size, it makes up for in sheer density thick bones, bulging muscle, and a low, heavy frame built not for speed, but for power and grit. Its paws? Enormous snowshoes that let it walk on deep snow while deer and wolves struggle to stay afloat. Its claws are long and curved, perfect for digging, climbing, and tearing flesh from frozen carcasses. And then there are the jaws. The wolverine has one of the most powerful bites for its size in the animal kingdom. It can crush bone, not gnaw, crush. It goes for the marrow, ripping through sinew and freezing hide that would make a lion hesitate. Its digestive system is equally unforgiving. Wolverines can eat rotting meat in temperatures where even microbes refuse to grow. And in the silence of arctic forests, when food is scarce, that matters more than any roar or speed. Inside, its hearts and lungs are oversized, optimized for endurance. Wolverines don't sprint. They trek, miles upon miles, without rest. Cold doesn't stop them. Altitude doesn't stop them. Hunger doesn't stop them. It's not a body built for domination. It's a body built for survival. The Master of Environments Unlike most predators, the wolverine doesn't cling to one environment. It conquers them all. From the frozen forests of Alaska to the mountain peaks of the Rockies, from the boreal woodlands of Russia to the icy realms of Scandinavia, the wolverine roams freely, adapting not just its diet but its entire behavior to fit the landscape. In snowy regions, it acts like a ghost, silent, solitary, hidden. It slips through avalanche zones, climbs cliffs, and makes dens in snowbanks that would swallow a man whole. It follows wolf packs from afar, not to join, but to steal. It waits, it watches, and when the feast is over and the danger has passed, it moves in to scavenge every last scrap. But in warmer zones, the game changes. Wolverines go after small mammals, birds, and even fish. They break into cabins, they raid traps. They climb trees. Their claws give them the power of a raccoon and the fury of a bear. Their memory is sharp, their curiosity endless. They know where food was, where it might be, and how to get it, no matter how many obstacles stand in their way. Where other predators flee from human expansion, the wolverine adapts. Where others starve in winter, it endures. And where others need a pack, a den, or a routine, the wolverine thrives in solitude. The Dark Genius of the North There's something almost unsettling about the intelligence of a wolverine. It's not the kind of intellect you'd expect from a solitary animal that roams the frozen north. It's not a chimpanzee's puzzle-solving or a crow's clever tool use. No, wolverine intelligence is darker, more primal, like nature-baked cunning into muscle 
and wrapped it in a coat of frost. Wolverines are not chaotic beasts. They're calculating opportunists, and they never stop thinking about food. Not just where it is now, but where it might be tomorrow. They remember kill sites from weeks ago, track patterns of migration, and know which scent trails are worth following, and which are stale lies left by desperate prey. And when the snow starts to fall, that's where their genius shines brightest. Wolverines cache food like seasoned survivalists. They bury meat under layers of snow, essentially freezing their leftovers in nature's deep freezer. And somehow, even under meters of fresh snowfall, they find those exact spots weeks later. Not just one cache, dozens. It's as if they carry a living map in their mind, drawn in scent, instinct, and sheer will. But it's not just memory, it's strategy. There are stories, many of them, from seasoned trappers and indigenous hunters in the Arctic who tell of wolverines breaking into food storage units built to withstand bears. Lock boxes with reinforced lids, sleds packed with supplies, and still, they'd come back to find everything torn apart, scattered across the ice. Like a message, nothing is safe. And they don't just break things, they outsmart traps. In regions where wolverines are hunted, trappers must constantly innovate. Wolverines learn. One day, they fall for a trap, the next, they avoid it completely. Or worse, they dismantle it. There have even been recorded cases of wolverines flipping snares with their claws or triggering traps with sticks. Not just survival instincts, problem solving. And if that wasn't enough, they had a flair for deception. Wolverines are known to stalk prey for hours without a sound, circling just out of view. Then, when the timing is right, when the snow is soft and the wind is just right, they strike like shadows. Some prey never even hears them coming. A blur of fur and teeth, then silence again. Even in the presence of larger predators – wolves, bears, lynxes – the wolverine does not back down. It studies them, calculates risk. If the odds are favorable, it will steal. If not, it waits. But the second a slip is made – a broken leg, a wounded limb, a moment of weakness – it pounces, and it doesn't miss. They can also be relentless. One biologist described watching a wolverine tail a much larger animal – possibly a moose calf – for over two days. Not sprinting, not charging, just following, always there, wearing it down with psychological warfare before the final blow. This is not random aggression. This is tactical brutality. This is patience forged in ice. So no, the wolverine is not just a scavenger or a brute. It's a creature that thinks, waits, remembers, and then makes its move with terrifying precision. If wolves are warriors and lions are kings, then the wolverine is the assassin, the silent strategist of the wild north. Born for the brutal Let me be honest with you, most animals, no matter how fierce they look in photos, wouldn't last a week in the high mountains or subarctic forests if left alone. But the wolverine isn't like most animals. It's born into violence. Cubs are raised in cold, cramped tunnels dug into snowbanks. The moment they're strong enough to walk, they're taught to climb, to scavenge, to fight. There's no safety net. There's no luxury of long childhoods or play. They are nature's underdog, but not in the cute Disney way. In the gritty, bloody, icy, real way, where every day is a question of survival, and the answer is always adapt or die. This is an animal that will never be tamed. Zoos struggle to house them. Researchers struggle to track them. And if you are ever lucky, or unlucky enough to see one in the wild, you'll feel it in your gut. That uneasy awe of staring at something raw, unfiltered, unapologetic. So why is the wolverine the most adaptable carnivore? Not because of strength alone. Not because it's the smartest or fastest or most majestic. It's because it doesn't care about any of that. It doesn't chase glory, it doesn't seek dominance, it just survives, on its own terms, in its own way, in places most animals wouldn't dare to exist. It adjusts, it evolves, it thrives on scraps and turns them into strength. It can lose a fight and still win the war by outlasting its enemy. It bends nature's rules, breaks human traps, 
and walks through the cold like it was made of fire. That's not just adaptability, that's evolution turned feral. So next time someone asks you who the fiercest carnivore is, don't say lion, don't say tiger, just look them straight in the eye and say, the one that walks alone, say, the wolverine.